You guys, it's day 15, which means you've read 5,852 verses and you've finished the Pentateuch! You know, that's the first five books of the... Oh, never mind. The last few laws are given in Deuteronomy 24 to 25, like don't muzzle an ox while it's treading out the grain, which I suppose is the same as giving Starbucks workers a cup of coffee on their shift. And then there's this other law that says if you don't want to marry your dead brother's wife and have her babies, she'll take your sandal off, spit in your face, and you'll be forever known as the family of the unsandaled! No, please, anything but that! Just give me my sandal! Back, I'll have your babies! I don't know, maybe it was worse than it sounds. The verse after that one is definitely worse. And just looking at all the curses in chapter 27, I think I should be okay, although verse 26... Chapter 28 is probably one of the most intense chapters in the whole Bible. It starts off by saying that if the Israelites really obey God, everything is going to be amazing! But then it basically says that if they don't, it's going to be an absolute bloodbath. You should check it out, but I'm telling you, it's not for the faint-hearted. Despite all that, God's really careful to say that if at any point the Israelites come back to him after after turning away, he will restore them completely and totally and everything will be amazing again. There's a bit of a downer at the end of chapter 31 when Moses predicts that the Israelites are going to completely rebel against God and it's all going to go very, very, very wrong. And then Moses sums it all up in a little song. I'm your God, I love you, but you turned away. What's the deal? I thought we were a thing, but hey. I will fill you up with poison, plagues and arrows, loads of swordsmen. I love you, but you'll regret you turned away. It's not exactly like that, but that's the gist. God then takes Moses to see the land that he's definitely not going to be allowed to go into, which seems to me a little bit like... <laughs> Moses then blesses the tribes of Israel for the very last time. Oh, FYI, don't mess with Levi, you'll quite literally be dealt a low blow. Our guy Moses then goes up to Mount Nebo to die, and the last thing it says about him is no one has ever shown the mighty power or performed the awesome deeds that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. Moses... We salute you. Tune in tomorrow for the new guy and an even bigger bloodbath than chapter 28 of Deuteronomy.